still no response to Hills. Keep trying. They're aiming for the surface again. We can't allow another volley. Helm, put us between them and the planet. Full power to shields. Hi, sir. What the hell? I've got them. 081 Mark 310. Warp distortion? That's a maneuver straight out of the Academy. They're charging micro torpedoes. There's another ship out there. Can you identify it? I can't even find it now. Apparently, the runabout can. It's altered course and charging phases. Enough of this. Fire spreader torpedoes ahead of the runabout. Low yield. Helm. 210 Mark 12, full impulse. Gotcha. Sakaris, disable their engines and shields. Hi, sir. The runabout is healing. On screen. Captain Hunter, isn't it? Given the circumstances, I should be grateful you didn't just kill me. Captain's log, stardate 60211.7. Captain Picard has refused to explain his presence or his actions. Under the circumstances, I've had little choice but to confine him to our uninvited guest facilities. Yes? I thought he was shorter. Thank you, Commander. The theories are well researched, even if the conclusion is somewhat naive. What? It's a pad. How's he going to break out with a pad? I wouldn't put it past him to break out with a toothpick. Well, I'm glad I didn't give him one of those then. Do you always let your subordinates talk to you in that manner? Don't question how I run my ship. At least I'm on my ship. Let him out. Am I going to get an explanation? I'm sorry about this. Thank you. Would like to follow me, briefing room captain? We can talk. Alone. Can't you tell me anything? I can tell you that his mind is as disciplined as a Vulcan's, more so even. I'd suggest he'd undergone a mind meld or two. Given more time, I could learn something. That's exactly why you've been reassigned. Temporary duty rotations are common practice. It's not like Aaron to keep me in the dark. If you'd like, I could. No. No, I couldn't let you do that. Of 
most likely didn't suck. Engage. You should be relieved. Relieved? Given Picard's experience and reputation, it wouldn't have been out of line to simply give him temporary command of the ship. There's not much difference. He knows the mission. I don't. We'll be in orbit in 30 minutes, Captain. Thank, Thank you. you. Take us to these coordinates. I recognise these. This is the Brune Ruin. At least, I think it is. I haven't had a chance to take a closer look. You've turned my ship upside down for an archaeological expedition. If you hadn't got in my way, I wouldn't have had to turn your ship in any direction. Captain Picard, my ready room, now. I get the feeling we're not going to like each other. I get the feeling you don't like many people, Captain. You refuse to identify yourself. You fired on a planet under my protection. Oh yes, your protection. I've seen what comes of your protection. What's that supposed to mean? I first encountered Loran Talath in a joint operation with the Hiroshima. She was a remarkable woman and a fine captain. She deserved better. You weren't there. I read the report. Anyone can second guess. At 1 minute 50 seconds, you ordered a tractor beam, which failed. At 2 minutes 15 seconds, you attempted another tractor beam, which your own science officer told you wouldn't work. And you'd have done something different, I suppose. The great Jean-Luc Picard would have changed the laws of physics. Oh no. I'd have obeyed them. All you needed to do was change the trajectory by 19 degrees, and the ship would have skipped off the planet's atmosphere. There wasn't time to... Tell me, Mr. Hunter, what did you order first? The tractor beam or the torpedo lock? If there's nothing else, Captain. There's never enough time to appreciate the past. I used to say that, or my last host did. You've read my lectures. One or two. I'm detecting energy signatures. They're Romulan. He's long gone, but with luck, he didn't beam everything out. Who is he? This way. What's your step? I think I know how to preserve a site's integrity. Lots of residuals. It looks like an entire museum's worth was beamed out. Take readings of every depression. If we're lucky, it was resting face down. You're looking for a glyph stone. What makes you say that? The Brun relics are free from engravings, except for the glyph stones. Very good, Commander. You take the left side and I'll take the right. And anything we find must be kept in the strictest confidence. In other words, don't tell Captain Hunter. In other words, don't tell anyone. The simulation proves out. I could have saved her. There's a chance you could have saved her. And there's an equal chance that her ship would have broken an atmosphere and rained debris all over the colonists. It didn't even occur to me. Daniel, Jean Le Picard was commanding starships while you were still learning to read. And as far as decisions are concerned, there are some people who think... What? Some people who think what? This does not go beyond you and me. There are some people who feel that if Jean Le Picard had shown a little more diplomacy at a certain point, he would have never had to face the Borg. Bridge to Hunter. Go ahead. The way to return, sir. On my way. Daniel, don't make me regret it. Thanks for the chat, Admiral. De Bruyne glyph stones have always been kept face down. My theory is that it was to honour the Maker Gods, who rested in the ground rather than the heavens. How do you know this? I've had 
opportunities to see glyph stones in their natural context. And I've never heard about this because... Those opportunities had to be kept secret for reasons I can't go into. This imprint is going to take a while to fill in. And even then, the computer will have to make certain assumptions. Your matrix for interpreting de Bruyne symbology is the standard throughout the quadrant. Our meeting at this juncture could almost make a man believe in fate. If you're looking for Caden Picard, they went straight to Science Lab 1. As you were. Captain. I've been reviewing the logs of how scuffle with the runabout, and there are two points of interest. The runabout torpedoes were set to self-detonate at a certain distance. Not one of them struck the planet's surface. Of course. When it's just a few colonists, he's careful, but put the entire Federation at stake, and he'll burn the house down. Sir? Never mind. What's the second point? We were only able to get a partial read of the other ship's architecture, but I believe I've found a match. It's a Kyrie-class raider. They are mostly employed by the Tal Shiar. Yes? What's gotten into you? Aren't I allowed to be in a good mood? Fine. Not that it's any of your business, but Captain Picard was flirting with me. <laughs> flirting? He's old enough to be your father. Technically, I'm old enough to be his grandmother. Anyway, it's just work. Archaeology brings out the scoundrel in him. Oh really? And what does it bring out in you? I find it flattering. He's a very charming man, and you could learn a thing or two from him. Oh, like how to start a war, maybe? Are you going to tell me what's going on? I don't really know. And even if I did, I couldn't tell you. It's confidential. All I know is that I'm his assistant. And you're my chief of ops. Is he still in the lab? He was when I left. Right then. I thought I locked that door. You did. I unlocked it. This is still my ship, whether you like it or not. Yes, so it is. Captain Hunter, I owe you an apology. I should not have judged you. That responsibility belongs to better people than I, and they found you blameless. The same people who have found me blameless on more than one occasion. Why were you firing on a Romulan ship? I'm afraid that's classic. Don't start. On this ship, I make the rules, and if you've cleared Cade... Cade's level of expertise... Is it worth a damn to me? Not when I think you're on the verge of starting an interstellar incident! Reconstruction complete. Very well. Isn't that breathtaking? Only if by breathtaking you mean ugly. So... You were able to extrapolate coordinates from a child's drawing of Romulans torturing each other? The Brune figures are simplistic, but they're very specific in regards to the placement of limbs. It's a mathematical code my first host broke, a few years before the symbiont was passed to me. You seem strangely disinterested in all of this. I'm merely doing my duty, Captain. When that duty involves knowing what's going on, I'm sure you'll tell me. You're not the least bit interested? Romulans torturing each other! That didn't grab your interest? Would it enthrall you to learn that humans once tortured each other? Earth's history is filled with examples of one culture oppressing another. Some rebelled, others, like the Romulan de Brun, simply left. That's one theory anyway. You have another? You don't know the reasoning behind the de Brun exodus. We only know that the wrong one Senate has done all it can to suppress or destroy the truth, which is why the only surviving relics are outside Romulan space. Picard to Cade. Go ahead, sir. I could use you in the science lab. On my way. So, uh, 
It doesn't bother you. Being kept out of the loop. I'm assuming my heritage is precisely why I've been kept out of the loop. Ignorance is bliss? Sometimes. Although, if that was a universal truth, I think you'd smile more often. Commander, what do you make of the foreheads? Not much. Basic representations of Romulan physiognomy. What about the extra lines? A glitch? Reconstruction artifacts? I thought that, but look at the uniformity. These extra lines only appear on the foreheads of the torture victims. You're right. Brows furrowed in pain? Possibly, but I'm wondering if there might be an alternative explanation. What if... Computer, red alert! What's the meaning of that? Don't I know you? You could say that. If I'd made the connection between yourself and Professor Ral Cade earlier, I'd never have bothered continuing to follow Picard. His name is Coleb. He was part of an archaeology expedition to Balandris. I was on vacation. After this one, I don't think I'll be taking any more. Captain Hunter, I don't think it's appropriate. On the contrary, I think it's quite appropriate. Not a face I'm familiar with. Please continue, Captain. We were exploring a De Bruyne ruin on the easternmost continent. We found a glyph stone. The imagery was quite provocative. It showed a man, looking skywards, standing in a field of corpses. Before we knew what was happening, Coleb produced a weapon and started firing. He took the glyph stone and left us all for dead. Using the impression left by the glyph stone, I calculated Coleb's next destination. I found a phase variance in his engine harmonics and thought I had him then, until, well, you know the rest. These glyph stones tell the truth of the De Bruyne Exodus, don't they? A truth the wrong list our empire would rather keep in the dark. And that truth is? I don't know. I'm not an archaeologist. So where does Cade come in? Each successive glyph was more complicated than the last. Without Cade's help, I would have been at a loss on the last one. Are we certain that Cade's interpretation of the Cairo 4 glyph is accurate? I am. Then we maintain course for the Natus system. Agreed. But I think we've established that Coleb has corrected his engine's phase variance. So when we arrive, we'll have to search the entire planet. <laughs> Your reputation will be destroyed in academic circles. No one will ever- I'm not an academic! I don't even like archaeology. No one lives on this planet. The natural electromagnetism plays havoc with technology. But somewhere here lies the last piece of the puzzle. And what makes you think I'll know where to find it? Because I'm going to show you every single glyph I've collected. You'll have more than enough incentive to work it out! Entering orbit. Initiating planetary survey. Could we have beaten them here? Unlikely. A Kairi raider is capable of matching a ship of the line speedwise, and we lost a lot of time conducting sweeps of the region where Commander Cade was taken from us. Are the probes configured? Aye, sir. Start deploying the sensor net. High levels of electromagnetism are interfering with sensors. It will be difficult to beam down and impossible to beam out without using pattern enhancers. A shuttle? We could land one, but it might not be possible to leave. And how did the De Bruyne do it? There is so much we don't understand about the De Bruyne. One thing that's puzzled archaeologists for over a century is why such an advanced race would hold with such primitive styles of art. Pottery and space travel hardly go hand in hand. How long until we find the ruins? I wish I had an answer for you, Captain. I truly do.
place them there, there, and there. I wonder why the Tabrun chose planets with such similar flora. I don't care. I don't care if the Tabrun got together three times a day and rubbed mud on their chests. Status. I've only completed 2% of the planetary survey. You'll have to be patient. How can I help? No! It occurs to me you don't need both arms to think this through. Wait. Pointless. How am I supposed to tell stone walls from plain old stones? I understand your frustration, Captain, but we've very little choice in the matter. Yes! Just as I'd expected! Can I... can I see? No! Neither will Picard! Now that I have this, I don't need you. Stop right there, Colette. I assure you, these phasers have not lost their charge. How did you find me? While Captains Picard and Hunter were looking for ruins, I did a scan for pattern enhancers. Let me go, or I'll show this to your Romulan friends! I believe that was your intention all along. What's on it? No, but after all these years, digging in the dirt, living like an animal, this is my future! No, Coleb, it's our past. It was the extra lines on the foreheads of the torture victims that provided the clue. And they weren't being tortured. They were undergoing medical procedures. What kind of medical procedures? Tissue sampling, most likely. And the lines weren't just lines. They were ridges. Permission to be excused? Somewhere you need to be? A place called Bliss, sir. The subjects weren't Romulans, they were Klingons. I don't understand. One of the alternate theories is that the Dabun Extus was actually a search. An incurable plague had swept through the Romulan Empire. Possibly a virus, or a genetic failure resulting from disassociation with the Vulcan common ancestry. Whatever the cure was, the Dabun found it in Klingon DNA, which explains why certain tissue types, some Klingons, are compatible with Romulan physiology. 
Are you suggesting that Klingons are responsible for saving the Romulan race? It's a definite possibility, but without the final Glyphstone, we'll never know for sure. If the Klingons were to learn of this... They'd want compensation. It could lead to war. Never mind what it would do to Romulan morale. With absolute proof in his possession, Coleb could have blackmailed the Senate into doing or giving him anything. Anything at all. Bridge to Hunter. Go ahead. Captain, the Enterprise is hailing us. They're ready to transport Captain Picard. He's on his way. Captain. Captain? Thank you for stopping by, Counselor. But I'm fine. Really. You, you were kidnapped and tortured, Commander. This is more than just a friendly visit. Do you know what it feels like to die? I do. After that, anything else is incidental. We all accept a certain amount of risk when joining Starfleet. But there's an expectation of safety on aboard one's own ship. We've been snatched from that safety. Come. Sensors are offline in this compartment. I'm sure it's a minor malfunction. There's a transporter inhibitor. Over there. Thank you, Chief. That will be all. Touch it! Touch it! Touch it! Ah, ah. 